Roadkill Barbie! So, how did Roadkill Barbie um, come to be a member of the team? Um, I'm not really sure, but uh, you could ask Doug. How did um, Roadkill Barbie become a member of the Marlboro Men? I'm not sure, Doug, Steve. You mean I should ask Doug or Steve? Yeah. You don't know how she became a member? No. I'm not sure. I'm asking, how did Roadkill Barbie become a member of the Marlboro Men? How did um, Roadkill Barbie become a member of the Marlboro Morse Men? I wasn't there, so I don't know anything about it. Don't hint, Cool. I don't know. I, I'm not really sure you should ask me that question. I, I think Doug can answer that a lot better. People keep telling me I should ask Doug. You're Doug, yes? Did she become a member of the Marlboro Men? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you should ask Doug. I just know that she was like a daughter to me. And... and do you have trouble speaking while you're playing? Yes! <laughs> Is there someone else we could ask about how Roadkill Barbie became a member of the Marble Men? Roadkill Barbie become a member of the team? Oh, well, we were driving down the Merit, and there she was. I mean, it was a traffic jam, traffic was all stopped, and she was just right there at the side of the road, in the middle of the road, in fact. And so I just opened the door and, and brought her into the car. You just opened the door and... I, well, we were, it was stop and go traffic. We were not, we weren't going very fast. I just stopped the car, opened the door, and, and let her in. So, like, under 60 miles an hour? Oh, very, very slow. Very slow. They, were, they were chipping all the trees that had fallen down in a recent storm, and so the, the big traffic jam. It was very slow traffic. Very slow traffic. Yeah, so it wasn't, it wasn't dangerous. It, so, so you just opened the door and picked her up? You just picked her up, yep. Free Roadkill Barbie! What's your favorite memory of Roadkill Barbie? <laughs> I don't think I could really share that you know, on camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite memory of Rose to Barbie? Um, well, uh, when when we went down to, uh, to Washington, you know, we found her uh, in the road and uh, kind of rescued her, you know? Well, I think, you know, the moment that we that we met her, you know, a, a, a stranded traveler on the side of the highway, and I'm, I'm really glad that we were able to do something for her. What's your favorite memory? Uh, broke kill Barbie. Yeah, I remember when she had just gotten into the car and was in the back seat with me. Did you have a good time in the car with her? Oh, great time. Uh, back to that, um, that car ride with her. Um, did you have more fun with her in the back seat or on the dashboard? I don't know. That's it's a it's a tough call. Uh, I think the back seat. Do you like it when she's on the dashboard or in the back seat? Oh, uh, definitely in the back seat. Right? Now I've heard different things about the back seat dashboard. Um, what was your favorite position? I was just in the back seat. The back seat. Yeah. The, the back seat. The, the back seat. <laughs> Is that where you were in the back seat? I was. Yes. Um, nothing about the dashboard. No. I, I, I've heard some um, some great stories about her on the dashboard. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, as I say, it's sort of a tough call. Right. There was, uh, but I think you know the people in the front of the car had more of a, uh, you know, they, they they had more of a perspective on on that situation. Yes. Yeah, right. Is there any particular memory you'd like to share that you? That, well, the, the, the really the hard thing for me is. <laughs> It's how much she was looking forward to May Day. And, and to go through that May Day without her was, was, was really very tough. I, I hope that, that Rock Creek at least let her 
let us see you made it. So, um, could you share with us any what your favorite moments with Roadkill Bucket? Uh, <laughs> Free Roadkill Party! This is clearly a hard time for you. Uh, quite emotional. Uh, are you feeling comfortable now? Yes, thank you. May we continue? Yeah. Alright. What are your favorite memories of Roadkill Barbie? Well, mm, she really loved the music. Uh, the music? Uh, how? Oh, well, um, when um, guys go out on tour, you know, she would um, sit on Doug's shoulder and uh, she would uh, dance around on his shoulder while he played and um, she, just, she just loved the music. What else can you tell us? Well, oh, oh she loved the dance. Oh. Oh, how she loved to dance. I would, I would put her in my pocket, and, um, and she would... Uh, yeah. Tell us about that fateful night. Oh, well, um, we, we noticed that she was missing after our Washington, D.C. trip. We, we, just, we just didn't know what had happened to her. We hadn't heard from her in days, and, and then... In the mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at you. Oh, God, oh, damn. <laughs> there was a second ransom note, was there not? Yes, um, we had set up a, um, um, a, a headquarters for um, the Free Road Kill Barbie. All the guys were in, uh, in the main room. Um, uh, uh, strategizing and, and what we might do, and uh, I, had, uh, I was collecting the mail, and oh God, in the mail! How could they do that? It's her hair. That wasn't very smart of them to leave the return address, was it? No, that was pretty fucking stupid. Um, well, of course, that led us right to the perpetrators, and we knew immediately that it was the Rock Creek Morris women who had, um, who had abducted her. And so we, um, you know, we have friends in D.C., and um, they ferreted out an informant. Yes, Rock Creek took her. We kidnapped her. We were all forced to join in. You have no idea what they're capable of. They're evil. Evil, I tell you. I'm so ashamed. And uh, so we know for a fact um, through her testimony and a number of photographs that she took um, at a team function that they are brutally tortured. Free Roadkill Party! What would you like to say to the members of Rock Creek Morris women right now? I would like to say that if you guys think you can get away with this, you got another thing coming. Oh, oh. You know, your day will come. I just need to know how, how devastated we all are. I mean, take our heart, rip it out, turn it around, put it back in. It doesn't function right. We're trying to function here, okay? Well, I'd just like to say that, you know, you can't hide from the law. We've seen what you've done. And, and there's no excuse for that. Let it go, man. That was touching. Thank you. Right, you're welcome. Is there anything you would like to say to the members of Rock Creek Morris women? You know, uh, she means a lot to us. She means a lot to us.